Welcome to Thailand. I'm Cal, and I've been living in Bangkok for eight years. If you visit this country, you may need to access prescription medications. You might be planning to bring your medications with you, or you might be planning to buy them here in Thailand. And in today's video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about pharmaceutical medications here in Thailand. Let's jump right in and get started with bringing prescription medications into Thailand. Thailand has a five category drug schedule which includes narcotics and psychotropics. Category one narcotics and psychotropics are strictly prohibited in Thailand and these are drugs that are widely illegal around the world. These include drugs like heroin, methamphetamines, and GHB. And unless you're planning to be a drug mule, these probably won't concern you. And if you are planning to be a drug mule, I recommend that you look up an episode of Locked Up Abroad in Thailand and reconsider. For our discussion on prescription medications, we're going to focus on category 2 narcotics and category 2, 3, and 4 psychotropics. Category 2 narcotics are opioid medications, and these include drugs like codeine, hydrocodone, morphine, methadone, oxycodone. You can check the full schedule. The link is in the description. If you take an opioid medication, it's probably listed as a category two narcotic. But if you have a prescription in your home country, you can apply for a special permission from the Thai Food and Drug Administration in order to bring your prescription medication with you. You'll need to fill in an online application, which can allow you to bring up to a 90 day supply Apply. The online application requires you to upload a copy of your passport and a prescription that is signed by the physician who provided the medication. And the prescription must provide the name and address of the patient, the identified medical condition, the name of the medication, dosage, and instructions for use, the pathology and total amount prescribed, and the name, address, and licensing number of the physician. And you'll need to print a copy copy of the permit. And when you travel to Thailand, you'll need to bring that permit along with all the original documentation as well as the medication in its original packaging. And when you arrive in Thailand, you'll have to go through the red channel at customs, make sure you have all that paperwork with you and declare the drugs. So if you have a category two narcotic prescription medication, this is the process that you need to undertake in order to bring it with you into Thailand. Let's move on to psychotropic drugs. And here we're talking about category two, three, and four drugs in the psychotropic drug schedule. Examples of psychotropic drugs include benzodiazepines like Xanax or Alprazolam, hypnotics like Zoplo and stimulants like pseudoephedrine. Travelers are allowed to bring a 30-day supply as long as the drug is in its original packaging and you have a prescription. For psychotropics, travelers do not require special permission and you don't need to declare the medications at customs but you should have all the necessary paperwork with you in case you are stopped. And before we move on to pharmacies and pharmaceutical drugs here in Thailand, it's important to know that despite the recent decriminalization of marijuana, it is still illegal to import marijuana or marijuana-derived products. If you have any concerns about a specific medication, always check the drug schedule. The links are in the description. If you're flying into Thailand via a third country with a connecting flight, you need to check the rules and regulations for that country as well. But in many situations, you may not need to import your prescription medications with you when you come to Thailand. Thailand has a very well-developed healthcare and pharmaceutical industry, and you can easily purchase high quality and inexpensive generic medications at the many pharmacies all over this country. If you need a prescription, you can normally walk into a clinic and speak with a doctor within 30 minutes and get a proper prescription. And you can normally do that by bringing along your prescription from your home country or simply talking with the doctor and getting an entirely new prescription. And you'll normally need a prescription to access any drugs that are scheduled as category two narcotics
or category two, three, or four psychotropics. Possession of a category two narcotic is against the law without a prescription. But many drugs which are prescription only in Western countries are available over the counter here in Thailand. And normally you can purchase very high quality generic drugs at very inexpensive prices here. But different pharmacies often have different rules around prescription medications. So if you're looking for a prescription medication, you might need to go and check out a few different pharmacies before you find one that has it and will provide it without a prescription. You should always avoid big chain pharmacies like Boots or Watson's and any pharmacies that are located in a mall. They'll normally require a prescription for most medications. Normally when I've needed a medication, I'll go to the Sukhumvit Soy 4 neighborhood, that's Nana right around Nana BTS, but you can find great pharmacies located all over the city and some some of the other areas you might want to check out would be Siloam, Victory Monument and Chinatown. And a couple of the most popular pharmacies with the expat community here are Fashino's. Fashino's has several different locations and Siam Pharmacy. Siam Pharmacy is at Plon Chit. If you're looking for a less common medication, you can also check out the pharmacies located around the big public hospitals, particularly Chula and Siraj. And you just need to remember one thing. If a pharmacy tells you that you need a prescription, there is a good chance you can walk down the street, go into another pharmacy, and buy the drug there. So what kind of medications can you normally buy over the counter here in Thailand? I'm just going to run through a whole bunch of the available medications here so that you get an idea about what you can access very easily and inexpensively because most of these will be generic versions of the drug. First you have very standard medications like antibiotics, antifungal creams or pills. You can find ACE inhibitors like lisinopril, hyperthyroidism drugs like levothyroxine, statin drugs like atorvastatin, diabetes drugs like metformin, beta blockers like propranolol, calcium channel blockers like amlodipine, asthma medications like albuterol, blood thinners like warfarin, steroid medications like prednisolone or hydrocortisone, blood pressure medications like remipril, immunomodulators like pimcrolimus, hair treatments like finasteride and minoxidil, anti-aging creams like tretinoinin, anabolic steroids like testosterone, trembolone, or anivar, human growth hormone and a variety of different types of peptides, erectile dysfunction medications like sildenafil, and of course plenty more. While I tried to cover the most popular medications here, there are plenty more. Even if I didn't mention a medication, there's a good chance that you can purchase it over the counter at a pharmacy. But you should also keep in mind that enforcement of laws can shift rapidly and pharmacies can change their rules. And if you're planning to come to Thailand and you're curious if a drug will be available over the counter, you can go to a website of a big popular pharmacy like Fashino's or Siam Pharmacy and send them an email and simply ask if they have the drug available. Overall, Thailand has a very laissez-faire attitude towards healthcare and pharmaceutical drugs. And this can lead to misuse and abuse, so it's definitely better to check with a doctor and get a proper prescription before starting a medication. Clinics are located on every street corner and they are very inexpensive. You can see a doctor very easily at a clinic, a public hospital, or a private hospital. And doctor consultations can cost as little as 500 baht at a public hospital and around 1,000 baht at a clinic or 1,500 baht at a private hospital. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.